Do you know what is the weightage of answer writing in RBI phase 2 examination? It's a massive 66%. 200 marks out of 300 marks in phase 2 belong to answer writing or any form of writing which includes essay writing. And even after knowing that there is so much weightage of answer writing, we as students tend to ignore it or tend to stay away from it. Now, at first instance, when I thought about it, I felt that just because we are lazy, we are trying not to write answers. We are running away from practicing answer writing. But the more I thought about it, I felt that there is something deeper uh, as to what are the reasons behind students not doing answer writing regularly. And it's my responsibility to get to that deeper understanding, to understand the psychology behind answer writing as to why are you writing or why are you not writing. In this session, I'm not going to give you the basic steps or basic things that we have been talking about for times immemorial about answer writing. Rather, I want us to understand the psychology behind answer writing. What makes some students write regularly? On the other hand, what makes some students not write regularly? And this difference results in the difference between success or failure. Let's begin. You can see on my screen now the psychology behind answer writing. First of all, let's try and understand what is it that is actually holding you back as a student. If you're already writing regularly, if you know that your writing is perfect or you're getting there, then no need to watch this session. You'll be wasting your time. But if you feel that there is something that is holding you back, why not try and understand that? Why not try and identify that so that we can eliminate it and we can work around it? The first psychological mental reason behind uh, something that is holding you back is the fear of finding out. This is something that we don't even realize is actually affecting us, but it is. Let's try and take help of this graph to understand it better. Now, on the y-axis, you have fear. On the x-axis, you have reality. The more you move towards reality, the more you will be fearful. Your fear rises up to a certain extent. Why this happens is because we try and stay away from reality in order to stay comfortable. But that comfort also results in our own failures in life. Whether it is a relationship, whether it is a professional uh, career that you're thinking about, or whether, whether it is something purely personal, we often try to stay away from reality because it is often uncomfortable. But there is a point, there is a point here where you have reached the maximum level of fear and this is the point where you start understanding and accepting the reality. And that is when your fear starts to go down. And this is where you see the magic happening. Because you've already found out what was there to find out. The more you move towards reality now, the more your fear starts to go down. It applies the same way in answer writing as well. When you actually start writing answers, you realize, you actually figure out the reality as to how good or bad you are at writing. And that makes you very uncomfortable and that increases fear in your mind because you feel that you're not going to make it just because you're not good at answer writing. And so majority of us tend to drop answer writing between point one and point two because the fear is increasing. But the moment you cross that extent, that level where the fear has already reached its maximum level, that is where you realize that the fear is starting to go down. And the more you're moving towards reality, the more you're writing your answers, they're getting better because the fear is falling down. So the first point to understand behind what is holding you back is the fear of finding out your real self. And answer writing is one very potent tool of telling you where do you stand today? What is it that you are as a person today? Because when you write something down, then it is becoming permanent. And when it is becoming permanent, then lying to you, lying to yourself becomes all the more difficult. Let's come to the second point at, as to what is it that is holding you back. We have been taught as kids in our school and colleges, you ha have to tell me whether I'm right or wrong here. Because, uh, this is purely based upon my own experience and experiences of a lot of students around me who have asked about this. We have been taught how to read, but we've never been taught how to write well regularly. Probably one class every year, one class every six months used to be on how to write. 
एक एसए पे सेमिनार कर दिया ऑल दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट दोस वर ऑल फ्लैशी इन आर रेगुलर डे टू डे लाइफ वी वर नॉट टॉट हाउ टू राइट रादर वी हैव ऑलवेज बीन टॉट हाउ टू रीड इवन इन स्कूल एंड कॉलेज एग्जामिनेशंस वी ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन रीडिंग टू द लास्ट पॉइंट एंड जस्ट गो एंड राइट इन द एग्जामिनेशन राइट दैट दैट इज व्हाट वी डिड now what happens if you put it on the graph how does it look like this is also very interesting now this is on the x axis you can see time and on the y axis you can see reading as well as writing so as you grow in time as you you know move from school to college to whatever 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 you keep reading more and more so aapka reading ka graph to is tarah se chalta rehta hai and of course it plateaus after a while or grows slowly because you've read a lot and now a lot of other things are also happening it might also be a you know continuous growth of reading as well but writing is something like this you've not been writing till the time you were uh, in college and even after college till the time you started preparing for this exam you were not writing at all or you were writing very less only when it was surely necessary to write only then you were writing and even after you started preparing majority of us are not here majority of us are in this zone where we are writing very little that is what also keeps us away from writing because we've always been taught to follow this first graph and not the second graph and therefore we shy away from actually starting with something new completely because we know that we're going to be bad at it because we've never done it in our lives and this is what stops us from actually writing the third point is we don't know the correct way and this is where i come in let me now come to the second part of the video where i want to teach you how to write and how not to write having understood the importance of writing according to the weightage of the exam plus what is it in our psyche that stops us from writing let's get to the first one which is how to write kaise likhna hai kya aapko cheeze karni hai which will make you a good writer the first one is to keep it basic and to the point i was watching some videos yesterday and i was also uh, you know checking some of the students uh, answers uh, last night because exam is over the head and a lot of students are writing now and i felt that uh, there is there is a resistance towards keeping things basic because we as students feel ki jitna zyada hi fi likhenge utne zyada number likhenge we are trying to impress the examiner and in that desire we forget that basic is good there's nothing wrong with keeping your writing basic so keep it basic keep it to the point how do you keep it to the point by understanding the question the need of the question the examiner doesn't care what you think the examiner wants to know whether you have answered the question correctly or not so jo question pucha hai usi ko answer karna zaruri and this is a problem that i see majority students facing as to they neither want to keep it basic nor do they want to keep it to the point they want to talk about things they know and not what has been asked in the question and they shy away from keeping it basic so this is what you have to do from day 1 keep it basic stick to the question answer the question point number 2 one test one test every week 90 minutes writing and 2 hours of checking rather than one test every day or anything else minimum of one test every week and that test has to be a complete test where you're writing for 90 minutes and then evaluating it checking the answers yourself by using the sample answers that you will easily find over the internet aajkal to chat gpt us pe dal doge wahan pe aapko basic answer mil jayega it will be very useful for you to you know cross check your own answer yourself that is what is going to improve your performance point number 3 how to write is find your own mistakes i gave you the example of chat gpt there are multiple other you can use a human intervention like me you can use uh, a robotic intervention like chat gpt or anything else as well but focus on finding your mistakes focus on figuring out what is it that you've done right and what is it that you've not done right in this question's answer once you have this critical method of going through every answer that you've written once you change the wiring of your brain in such a way that instead of just trying to appreciate your performance you're trying to critically evaluate your performance you're not judging yourself you're just trying to critically evaluate yourself because you know that final answer final exam mein jo answers likhne hain those have to be perfect and point number 4 start basic questions we 
एज स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ टेंडेंसी ऑफ स्टार्टिंग विद वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेश्चन जिसमें तीन चार क्वेश्चन पूछे हो बहुत को रिलेशन क्रिएट किया हो कनेक्शन हो हमें लगता है वो नहीं करेंगे तो नहीं होगा स्टार्ट बेसिक ओके बेसिक क्वेश्चन सिंपल क्वेश्चन समथिंग एज सिंपल एज वॉट इज यू पी आई समथिंग एज सिंपल एज वॉट इज बी बी पी एफ भारत बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम समथिंग एज सिंपल एज वॉट इज मैशलोज नीड हेरार की थ्योरी समथिंग एज सिंपल एज वॉट इज ई एस आई की बात करें तो वॉट आर द मेजर रीजन बिहाइंड इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स ऑफ नाइनटीन नाइनटी ऑटोमेटिकली एक दो वीक्स में ना आपका ग्राफ ऐसे ऊपर जाने लगेगा ओके लेट्स कम टू थिंग्स दैट वी डू शुड नॉट बी डूइंग हाउ नॉट टू राइट एंड दिस इज गोइंग बी द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस सेशन नंबर वन वन आंसर एवरी डे विच इज अ बिग मार्केटिंग गेमिक जो कि कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ने क्रिएट किया था यूपीएससी के लिए नाउ इट एज ब्लोन अप एंड इट इज एवरीवेयर आपको बहुत सारी वेबसाइट मिल जाएंगी जहां एक क्वेश्चन लिखा उसका आंसर लिखा and students keep doing it but usse bahut zyada help nahi hoti a better method is if you want to write only to 1.5 ghanta nikal ke 90 minutes nikal ke you have time jaise kejriwal bolte hai na niyat honi chahiye time sabke paas hai ya paisa sabke paas hai development ki niyat honi chahiye aise hi mujhe lagta hai time sare students ke paas hai niyat honi chahiye ki aap us time ko use karna chahte ho ya nahi so you have one and half hours don't worry about it it's just about the intention of writing that matters you don't have to write every day you don't have to write give 90 minutes every day one day every week two days every week that's more than enough so stop writing one answer every day it's a big marketing gimmick it doesn't work it doesn't result in major successes or major improvements second thing which we should not be doing is to write and forget ye majority students kar rahe hain in fact i know that it the the ratio of people who are not doing it is as low as 0.01% of the students aur agar aap ye karoge you already reach that level reach that number of students who are going to be successful just by do not doing this just by not forgetting what you've written to likho aur uske baad khud padho ki maine kya likha hai and try and figure out where have you gone wrong don't be scared of seeing your own weaknesses don't be scared of seeing how badly you've written an answer it's okay don't judge yourself just try and give yourself that time and that practice that is required to gain to attain perfection in your writing point number 3 and the last point here is flary language hum log likhte kyu hain to create an impression on the examiner which is wrong you're not there writing in the exam hall to create an impression on the examiner you're writing in the exam hall to come out with the right facts to come out with the right arguments and finally to answer what has been asked aap isliye baithe ho wahan par to do these things you're not there to impress anyone you're there to create or to write what is truth what is honest what is a fact what is an argument and to answer specifically what has been asked nothing else nothing more nothing less if you do this if you change the way you think around answer writing by not trying to impress the examiner but by trying to answer the question by bringing out hard facts that can strengthen your own argument then automatically you will that pressure will not be there anymore of writing for somebody else you will start writing these answers for yourself because now you know they are trying to be honest in an answer and you're trying to see for yourself whether you know the answer to a question or not this my friends is going to make a big difference in your prep and this is what differentiates people who are able to become successful from the ones who are not able to find success i would like to end this session this small video students who are still watching will i believe learn a lot from this small uh, example I remember Nidhi Yadav uh, cleared RBI examination last year with rank five, and when she came in for the interview, she said that after phase one, I wrote my first test with you, checking the answer live, and I, I I just wished that you did not pick up my answer because I used to pick up some sample answers and check them live in front of everyone, and she did not want her answer to be checked because she felt that she had not written a good answer and she had not. but when i actually checked it and she faced the embarrassment of having written a 
very bad answer that fear of getting judged went away and then she started writing better answers automatically because that fear was there no more she felt at ease with herself writing bad answers and that is what resulted in actually her writing good answers in the final exam this is all for this uh, small video i hope you liked it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel you can follow me you can see my courses that are running uh, for the upcoming rbi examination and i'm here to help you guys prepare in any way that you want my help in your preparation whether it is self study whether it is guided courses or anything at all all the best keep studying bye bye over and out